Buenas tardes, ¿qué tal amigos de Proyecto Grado Cero? El día de hoy tenemos una entrevista con el doctor Jean-Pierre Kinsley, el ex, ex presidente de elecciones en Canadá y miembro de la Orden Mexicana del Águila Azteca. Good afternoon. How are you? Fine, thanks. Um, how can determine in your country the limits of political uh, participation? Well, effectively, because of our constitution and free speech and the right of assembly, it is virtually uh, without limit. However, our constitution does allow the imposition of spending limits, for example, uh, and the uh, amount that you can contribute to a political party, so that we have effectively come out with very good controls that if put the citizen at the forefront of the system as opposed to the political parties and the candidates. So the limit for, I will give you an example, you can only contribute uh, 14,000 pesos to a candidate or to a political party in Canada. That is as much as you can give under the law right now. This is all regulated. You must disclose all this publicly, very similar to what you have, except that the limits are quite different, obviously. How is appointed the chief electoral officer? How is the process to, uh, to appoint uh, uh, the chief electoral officer? Well, because I was the chief electoral officer for 17 years, <laughs> I, I think it is an excellent process. <laughs> But effectively, what it is, is that there is a parliamentary committee that considers names uh, and that makes a recommendation to parliament. And it is parliament that Uh, effectively votes for the person and all the chief electoral officers in Canada have been elected unanimously to their position. I was the fifth, my successor is the sixth obviously, he was also elected unanimously so that you come into the position with a lot of credibility with the political parties and with recognized impartiality and this is very important in the Canadian context. Okay. Um, could you tell us about the way that the legal system in terms of political law that exists in Canada is related? You'll have to ask me that question again. I'm not getting the gist. Uh, could you tell us about the way that legal system in terms of political law that exists in Canada is related? Okay. Well, number one, there is an Elections Act. It must respect the Constitution. We've had many contestations since we've adopted charters of rights. But so any contestation under the Charter of Rights, which is part of our Constitution since 1982, goes through the regular courts in Canada. Uh, if there is an infraction to the statute, someone is fraudulently voting, uh, the investigation is carried out by a commissioner for investigations, and there is prosecution in the regular courts. Now, if you wish to contest an election, Okay, This is where our system, uh, and we're finding this out now, uh, even though you can do it, is, is deficient. Because we rely on the adversarial system. So if I, as a citizen, wish to contest an election, I will contest it in front of a judge. But the person who will be defending is the elected person. But he is not, she is not accused of anything. So there is a very unfair burden on that person. Our system is deficient. Yours, the Mexican system, with the Tribunal Electoral, is, is ahead of our system. Uh, how can we solve the controversy of electoral finance? Well, I think I've indicated to you, we have resolved the thing. It is, the whole issue of money is the most difficult issue to solve, to resolve in politics. Uh, because people understand the importance of money in politics. It is the means whereby candidates can reach out, it is the means whereby political parties can reach out, and you wish to reach out more than your opponents, okay? And this is why it's so important to control how much people can spend and how much people can contribute. I will also add that in Canada, only an individual can make a political contribution. I told you the amount was not very large, But no company, no union, no syndicate, no association can give money. No foreigner can give money in Canadian politics. Just the people within Canada, just Canadian citizens. Okay, um, it's a good way to copy the other electoral models in Mexico, for example, 
is a, is there it's a good way to copy the other electoral models uh, of other countries to Mexico well frankly and this is something that always amazes me Mexicans don't seem to realize that in terms of their electoral system I'm talking about the role of IFE which will soon become INE I'm talking about the role that the Tribunal Electoral has played. I'm talking about the role that the Fiscalia plays for infractions to the statute. You are second to none. Mexico has very little to learn from other countries. I understand that you wish to review how money is controlled, uh, the amounts that should be part of, of the limits. And, and, of course, that is where you might be interested in uh, other international experiences, but you will not find many. Very few countries have cracked this nut, as we say in English. Okay, um, for the last, uh, last question, um, tell us about your experience with, uh, with uh, the Tribunal Electoral, uh, the TRIFE, and other electoral uh, institutions. Well, I have been coming to Mexico since 1993, Mexicans from IFE and from what was at the time TRIFE came to Canada in 1993. We established a very close relationship right from that time and I have had the privilege of accompanying the whole evolution of the Mexican electoral system right from that time on, which is all the years that have led to what I've just described to you as a system which is second to none in the world. And I knew you just called it TRIFE. TRIFE is the old name. It is now the Tribunal Electoral del Poder Judicial de la Federación. And this was an important change because it became part of the judicial system yeah. in, in Mexico. So I have been coming here, uh, and Mexicans have been coming to Canada for a very long time. So my personal involvement has been very significant, and I am gratified by the opportunity that was provided to me to see all this happen in Mexico. It was a pleasure to talk with you about these topics and thank you for the Colmex for this interview. Thank you very much. El placer fue totalmente para mí. Muchas gracias, hasta luego.